unique family. Happy New Year's Eve. We are almost out of 2020, y'all. Hallelujah, amen. We are almost there. I hope y'all are staying safe and healthy out there. For all of my subscribers, thank you for coming back to the channel. For all of my newbies who are coming through, welcome. My name is Alexis Nicole, AKA Uniquely Lex. And on my channel, we mainly focus on natural hair, protective styles, and beauty, or really just kind of whatever I wanna do because it's my channel. Today's video is all about the red lippy. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should at Uniquely Lex, you will see that I'm a huge fan of a good red lip. So um, I wanted to bring a quick video to you all here, uh, specifically because since today is New Year's Eve, you might still, you know, be doing things even though this year looks completely different for I'm sure all of us. For me, for instance, I'm going out to eat with my family and then my friends and I are doing a virtual game night. But if you're like us, you're still gonna wanna dress up, look cute, and just kinda have the full experience even though it's not the full experience. I wanted to bring this quick video to you all here today to show you some of my favorite red lippies in case you would like to try them out for whatever your festival these are tonight. So if you are interested in seeing some of my favorite red lippies, stay tuned because I got you. Alrighty, so I have about eight lippies to show you all and I'm not going to go in any specific order. I am however going to start with like your actual lipstick, so not your average liquid lipstick but your normal lipstick if that makes sense. I have three of those that I'm going to show you and then I'll move into my liquid lipsticks. Um, for all of these lippies, I am going to be using the Mary Jo K Kylie Jenner lip liner. It's just, it's a good lip liner, but I also only have like one red lip, or I have about like two red lip liners, so I'm just gonna use this one. This first lipstick that I am going to show you all is called Scarlet 690, and it is by Maybelline. And this is a matte red lipstick. So this was my first ever red lipstick, y'all, but like, I liked it so much when I was younger that I kept buying it <laughs> before I got into all these other red lipsticks. So we're gonna start with this one. I have lip gloss on my lips right now, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Ooh, I'm scared. I know my lips are about to be burning, but I'm doing it for y'all. So give me a like. Give me a like if you like this video, but also just for my my dedication, okay? And trying to help y'all out there in case you want a red lip to wear today specifically. <laughs> this lip liner goes on so smooth like butter. It's really nice. real soft I mean like silk on your lips honestly like she's not dry she is more of your blue tinted red lip so she does kind of essentially you know kind of help your teeth look a little bit whiter than maybe they are but that's okay because you, you might be taking pictures tonight so um, but there is little hints of orange in there as well and matches the color that is on the lipstick too. So I would say it is true to color from what you see on the actual packaging. Um, but yeah, it's not fancy or anything like that. This is drugstore lipstick, but it's still popping, okay? It's still popping. So now I did want to, I, I'm not gonna use a mask for every single lipstick because I don't wanna waste masks like that. Masks are very essential in today's day right now, so I'm not gonna be wasting masks for this video. I'm sorry, but I did grab paper towel to show you if they will transfer or not. Guarantee at least all the lipsticks will, maybe not the liquid lipsticks, but your normal lipsticks are most likely going to transfer. I'm sorry if you hear Simba in the background, he's eating his treat. Okay, so I'm going to do this just so you can see if it transfers or not. Guarantee this one is though, like it's super silky, so it's probably going to transfer. Um, so I'm gonna do it like you normally would a mask. I'm gonna just be talking, hello, hello, how is everyone doing? Happy New Year! <laughs> okay, so you can see there is some transfer there. Not bad. So for my second lippy by MAC, can anyone guess which one it is? Y'all should be able to guess which one it is. 
if you said Miss Ruby Wu, you would be correct. Ruby Wu B27 is a retro matte with that blue undertone tint. So Ruby Wu, she is dry. Oh, she's dry, but she's so nice. Like. She is your staple red lip, honestly. Like, Ruby Woo's been here since true back in the day, okay? Like, she's an oldie, but a goodie, and she's never gonna go out of style for me at all. So, she's very dry. I would even suggest, like, putting on some chapstick or, like, a little bit of gloss on your lips prior to putting her on. I don't have any around me, though, so I'm about to just go in. <laughs> This is Ruby Woo. You will feel a difference, Ruby Woo, compared to Siren and Scarlet. Um, the application is different. Again, Ruby Woo is a retro matte, so it's going to feel drier on the lips, or at least applying to. It doesn't hurt to apply or anything like that, but it is more on the drier side. It has a very good wear throughout the day, of course, so you will, since it's not like a lip, liquid lipstick, you will need to apply um, a couple of times throughout the day if you're eating or that type of thing, just to keep that strong red look that you have going on. It's not going nowhere, so this is Ruby Woo, one of my favorites, oldie but goodie, and I will always love her. Always, always. So let's do the transfer test. She's gonna transfer, I already know. <laughs> She's going to transfer. Mm -hmm. So, about the same amount of transfer as the Siren and Scarlet lipstick as well. Not bad though. Ruby Woo is more on the expensive side comparing to the Maybelline um, Siren and Scarlet that I showed y'all earlier. Ruby Woo is a little bit more on the blue side, and Siren and Scarlet is more, um, it has more of that orange tint to it than just straight red. So, depending on what you're looking for, maybe MAC is better, maybe Maybelline is better. So this next lipstick is also another MAC, and this one is Chili Matte Lipstick EC9. As you can see, Chili is more of like your burnt orange red type of color in the packaging. So I want you to see what she looks like actually on the lips though. And she goes on so smooth. Oh my gosh. So this is Chili. Again, I let y'all know that she is more on the like burnt orange side, but I still consider her a red lip for me. Um, just because it works, like it just works. It just works for me. So here's a close up. And even though Chili is a matte lipstick, she is very soft on the lips. Um, and a very smooth application as well. But when it dries down, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's just so pretty when it dries down. And even though it's matte, it still gives a little bit of shine, just a little bit. So um, a little bit of luster there. So if you're not a huge fan of matte lipsticks, this one, even though it says it's matte, it's not drying or it doesn't look super, super dry. All of these truly you could put a lip gloss on top of and you'd be fine. Let's go ahead and do the transfer test. Happy New Year! I'm just gonna keep saying that every single transfer test because it's the easiest thing that comes to my mind. Okay. Yeah, I would say that this one had a little bit more transfer. Again, like I said though, Chili isn't as dry as the other ones that I have done already. So I'm not surprised that there was this much transfer. All right, y'all, so now that we have done our normal lipsticks, I'm gonna move on to kind of like our more liquid lipstick, um, red lippies, and I'm gonna start out with our drugstore and then I will move or gradually move to the more high end, if you wanna call it that, <laughs> um, red lippies that I have. So for this first one, it is going to be none other than NYX. Monte Carlo. 
Monte Carlo is a part of NYX's soft matte lip cream line. It's really pretty, like so again, it kind of is that tint of blue in it as well. It goes on super soft. It's a part of their soft matte, so it better. <laughs> Nix's Monte Carlo is a red but more on the burgundy side so it's like berry raspberry color um it doesn't necessarily match <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily match the packaging so you can't completely go off of Nix's, Nix's packaging um however it's still in the red family for lippies for me just more burgundy and berry. Hints of pink, hints of raspberry, hints of blue in there as well. Super soft to the touch, super affordable, might I add. Super, super affordable um, and can last for a while. However, of course, when you do eat, it's most likely going to come off. Again, though, you're kind of getting what you pay for. It's a more affordable lippy, so it's not gonna really just wear throughout the day, through food, through drinking, all of that stuff, unfortunately. But it's still definitely worth the money, I would say. Worth your buck for the transfer test. Happy New Year, everyone. How are you doing? What are we eating for New Year's? Give me all the details. Yep. So, so far, I think that this one has been our biggest transfer. But as you can see, it's still on my lips. Even though some did transfer off on the napkin, it's still... Berrylicious Monte Carlo on my lips. This next line, I truly love y'all. Like, not just this red lippy, but I love a lot of their lipsticks within this line. And it is Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick Collection. And this one specifically is in Missy and Fierce. So it comes in the small glass packaging. I just used up my last one, so I went and got a new one, and I'm so glad that they still sell it. And Wet n Wild is, well, at least this lipstick, I'm not sure if the whole line is or not, but this lipstick of Wet n Wild is cruelty-free as well. So there is a slight change in what this color looks like from here in the bottle. As you can see, it is kind of, honestly, it's, it's kind of red, hot, pinkish, raspberry-ish when you're looking at it. But then when you put it on, oh, it's just so pretty. So there's no lip liner on right now. I'm just gonna go without the lip liner. And as you can see, it's wet right now, but once it starts to dry down, I don't want it to dry too, too dry. Like, I don't want it to dry down too, too much so I can still get it off my lips because I have two more to show, or three more lip to show you all. But I do want to show you what it looks like dried down because it is a slight difference and change from when it's wet applied to your lips to when it dries down. It dries down this beautiful blue-red and it's starting to do so right now. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that. It is a little sticky, as you can see on my lips. It's a little sticky, but I can forget the stickiness because <laughs> I can forget that stickiness because it's just so pretty. And because it does have um, also that blue tint a little bit, it does make your teeth appear wider, a little bit more wider than what they are. So this, affordable and it's so good it's so good and it lasts quite a bit throughout the day so it does have a good wear time even through eating and drinking soda water coffee whatever it might be um, it does last for a good amount of time at least um, is my experience so another great one and affordable that you could be able to pick up I guess I didn't mention, I didn't mention where you can get all these lipsticks, but I'll put everything in the description box below. Let's do that transfer test. Since it's liquid lipstick, typically those don't transfer as easily, which is nice. So happy new year. What are y'all's plans for new year? Yeah. So barely any transfer at all. 
that's what's up I'm about liquid lipsticks <laughs> next one also drugstore Milani and this one is Amore I believe yes Amore matte lip cream sorry for any of the smudges and number 35 there we go, and more. So in the bottle, it honestly looks like the lippy that I just put on from Wet n Wild. But these babies, oh, they dry down. <laughs> They're dry, They're dry is all I can really say. I used to use this quite a bit, so that's why I'm having to dip it a couple times, but like the pigmentation is there. Oh, it's there. This one, you definitely want to use a lip liner because it gets all over the place. But I don't feel like using one. I'm sorry. I don't have one that completely matches this. So this is still on the still in the red family to me, but it's definitely more of your dark burgundy red type of lip. A lot of times I would actually find myself mixing this one with like a lighter red, like putting a lighter red in the middle. And it created this like beautiful ombre but as you can see it already has like dragged down immediately it, it is drying on the lips too so I would also suggest wearing you know chapstick or a little bit of lip gloss not too too much but a little bit of lip gloss on your lips prior to applying it and see now my lips look lopsided and ish because I didn't hook lip liner oh it's so pretty when it dries down though like do y'all see that if you're looking for that dark, sultry, sexy, raspberry, cranberry <laughs> color, this is it for you. It's super beautiful, but it's super dry. But guarantee though, out of all of them that I've shown you today, this baby is going to stay on your lips throughout the day. Happy New Year, super dry, <laughs> super dry. Yeah, so barely any transfer on the paper towel because it's really not a lot, but it was like right here, like a smudge. All right, y'all, so we are down to our last two lippies and these last two are Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. So this first one is one from one of her old Christmas lines. I think she still carries it, but I'm not completely sure, so don't quote me on that. And that is Mary. So this is what the packaging looks like. So really, really nice packaging. Um, Mary is a little kind of like, honestly, kind of like our last liquid lipstick that we just did with Milani or more. On the berry side, from the look of the bottle, but then once you apply her, She's a little burnt, if you want to call it that. Like burnt cherry. So as it's drying, I'm just gonna quickly tell y'all about Mary. So like I said, she is kind of burnt, but it's like a burnt red. Like honestly, I get kind of like fiery, woody, cherry type of vibes from Mary. So she's more of your muted red, I would say. She's not vibrant. There are some tints of blue in there, but like she's more of your brown red, honestly. She's not super bright in your face. So if you do kind of want that more laid back, <laughs> muted type of red, cherry look um, that's on the darker spectrum of your reds, then Mary is a great choice for you. Kylie's liquid lipsticks do dry down very, very, very hard, I will say. They stay on though, like they're not going anywhere. They really do, at least for me, they have truly stayed on throughout the whole day, drinking, eating, all of that type of stuff. My mom has even asked me, like, what lipstick are you wearing? Or did you reapply? Or you still got your lipstick on when she'll call me at the end of the day after work because it literally stays on all day. <laughs> it is more on the expensive side, but it's worth your buck just because you aren't having to constantly reapply throughout the day. So you're kind of saving your money there and wearing it, you know, when you want to wear it. Transfer test. This is Mary, happy new year. I hope y'all had a great Christmas as well. 
yeah and there's like no transfer barely any Woo! okay y'all we are down to our last lippy my lips are crying but we down to our last lippy and this is probably my go-to red lip right now like if you see me with a red lip you're probably seeing this combo <laughs> so that again i already told you is part of kylie jenner's um liquid lipstick line and this one is mary joe mary joe is super popular when it comes to kylie jenner lipsticks at least and the matching lip liner that i had been using earlier these came together so I'm gonna go ahead and use lip liner again so you all can see and here's the thing with Kylie's lipsticks you're actually you're actually supposed to use the lip liner all over your lips and then apply the liquid lipstick but I'm not about to waste my lip liner like that uh-uh not me eh. because these are like it's not cheap it's not cheap so I'm not gonna do that and I haven't seen any problem. I've done I've done it both. Like when I first started using these, I did do what she said in her directions, but then I stopped doing that. So when this dries down, it's just so pretty. Like this matches my hair. Or not my hair, but this matches my hat. Like this is your true red. At least that's what I get from Mary Jo. Definitely has the blue tints, a little bit of orange, but more of your blue tints. So it's gonna make your teeth look all white and pearly. It doesn't dry down super, super dry where you're like, yo, my lips are dying. And I just really like her. Like this is my go-to red lippy right now, currently. What do y'all think? Do y'all like Mary Jo K? Can you tell the difference out of any of the lipsticks that I showed you? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. <laughs> um, again, Mary Jo K, a part of Kylie Jenner's line, is again on the more expensive side of things, but it is a very good go-to red lip that's going to stay on throughout the entire day. You may reapply like once, if that. I typically don't have to reapply, and that's like starting my work day at 8, 8.30 in the morning all the way until, cause usually I'm sometimes putting in some hours afterwards. So we're talking like 6.30 to seven o'clock at night. And I've eaten, you know, I'm drinking water, uh, sparkling water throughout the day typically. So she stay on. So she is a really good red lip in my current go-to right now. So those are all of the lippies that I have for you all, all of my favorite red lippies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put in the comments below which lippy did you prefer? Do you like most? Do you have some of these? Um, and how do you feel about them? But overall, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My lips are asking me why. Why Lex, why did you do this? But I did it for y'all, I did it for y'all. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe of course to the Unique Fam. This is my last video of 2020 y'all. So when we come in the new year, I'm gonna have new stuff for you all. So make sure you also comment below. What are some things, oop, the hat is falling. Let me get this together. Okay. What are some things that you're wanting to see on my channel? Throw that in the comments below. I literally read every comment that I get and I respond to y'all's comments. So please, you know, I wanna hear from y'all. I wanna hear how y'all are doing, but also what you would like to see on my channel as I continue to grow. We are almost at that 100 subscribers, y'all. And for those who are questioning, contemplating, don't like, click the subscribe button, click it. You're not going to regret it. You're joining the Unique Fam full of unique people and I am just so excited to go into this new year you know like I got a new mindset I'm ready to go I just feel like there are so many things that everyone's about to be blessed with but continuing to go through certain obstacles of course in life that are just ultimately going to help you grow at the end of the day so I'm really excited to see what 2021 brings us I pray it is not the same year as this year but ultimately, I hope that you all go into the new year healthy and safe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all see Simba's drip. Y'all see the drip. He's ready. We look like a whole portrait. <laughs> okay, but yeah, no. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Unique Fam. And from Simba and I and the Unique family, we wish you all such a happy new year. And we can't wait to see you in 2021 um, with everything that's in store. So we will see you in the new year.